Oh yeah, I forgot the <laughs> special effects. This talk is full of amazing special effects. So, the title is SCADA Insecurity, Hacking for Critical Infrastructure, but I have to say that SCADA is not only for uh, CI, for Critical Infrastructure, and you will see why. Uh, who is Raul? I'm the founder of AdMediaService.net, uh, that's uh, an Italian-based security company. We are a vendor independent consulting company, and we exclusively work on IT security. Uh, I'm an OPST and OPSI, OPSA certified. For the ones who don't know OPST and OPSA, there are, these are the two professional security certifications based on the OSDEM, OSS TMM. I'm an author of the OSDEM. I started to write the OSDEM uh, back at 1.5. It was in 2001. Uh, I'm so proud to tell you that actually uh, OSDEM has become a worldwide sta standard for pen testing. And we are going to release, please, please Peter, do it, the final 3.0 release. It's like to be uh, to having a ba baby to board. I'm also in the board of the director for Clusi, that is the Italian Computer Security Association, ISECOM, of course, OWASP, Open Web, Web Application Security Project, and my friends at TSTF, Telecom Security Task Force, Emmanuel Gadais, Philippe Lang Langlois, uh, Stavro Dula Venturi. Then, I'm into the core research team of Caristal. We are going to explain you who Caristal is, who, who, who we are. And for the, one that, the ones that attended Ek in the Box uh, uh, in 2006, uh, I'm into HPP, Echoes Profiling Project. That's another very interesting project from Isaacom. Uh, who is Mayan? Let's say he's more cool than me. Hello, my name is Alessio. I am, if you read some security mailing list, I work as a security evangelist for an Italian company called Alba ST. It's about 100 people working about security from a planning, consultant, and hardening point of view. I strongly believe in security. In fact, I invest my whole free time in non-profit organization like AIPSI, in which I am a member of the board of directors. AIPSI is the Italian chapter of ISS. A, Information System Security Association, an association of more than 100,000 security professionals from all over the world, which aim is to write publication, best practices, and create awareness about security problems. I love when my computer works for me. And this is uh, what we are talking about. We are talking about networks in which computers are taking care of other computers to explain them how to hack how to react uh, in the front of some uh, events. And uh, there are a lot of examples of this kind of applications. One example is at, at my back, managing pumps. This is a SCADA uh, interface control, uh, GUI, and it's for the pumps. So for example, this uh, machine is able to stop all the water and decide when to release it or stop it. So I think you're starting to understand that we are not talking about like uh, uh, easy things. This may, may be things that could kill somebody uh, over water a town or so on. And again, uh, when we talk about industrial automation, I think all of us, we know that it is a, a reality since many, many years. They started with PLC back 20, 25 years, years ago, let's say. But the market is start, start, starting to migrate. We're talk, talking about convergence and IP. IP is everywhere in our cell phone and in SCADA as well. So from the bad tale of security through obscurity, all of us, we know it, uh, so proprietary, obscure, and isolated IT machines, now we are moving through standards, documented or kind of, and con connected because also the SCADA and the requirements, they need to talk to other parts of the environment. Another example, we have it here. This is uh, uh, the Gulf of Me Mexico. So this uh, GUI at my back uh, is managing, uh, in a high island, many things about the wells and the water again. Uh, so we are talking in this case, about very critical infrastructures. Let, let's say that many SCADA environments we have been able to test, and we are going to show you in this talk, 
uh, manage the security, but with security I mean also the safety of power plants, nuclear plants, gas, oil, water, transport, distributions, and so on. Uh, there, there, is, there is also a bad tale to say that usually when there is a la lack of communications, somebody says that it's more the panic that has been created to, uh, rather than the true incidents. We are going to bring you some examples to show you that this uh, sentence is not always so true. So, which are the main, what is the main architecture of a SCAD environment? Uh, human Machine Interface, HMI. This is the part where, where we've been able to focus more and we, 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 we are going to zoom in details. Remote Terminal Unit, RTU. Then the old school PLC and all the communication infrastructure that is around. As you can see, it's a complex environment. It's not so easy to get. An example of it could be Enel, that is one of the uh, biggest company in Italy that is distributing uh, power uh, energy. Uh, it was the only vendor in Italy since uh, some years ago. And uh, we see from this uh, picture taken from internet uh, that uh, security through obscurity does not work very well uh, because this is a logical schema of their network that is freely available on their vendor uh, website to show uh, they are really cool, they implemented uh, this kind of devices in their network, and they are giving us a lot of information about their, uh, the NL network. There is also, excuse me, my bring to us also the attention that it's so common that the company, let's say the end customer, doesn't want to spread out the details, but the vendors are always so easy to spread out the details because they are so cool and so hot. That's why. And, uh, uh, of course, uh, some issues happen. Uh, for example, uh, uh, talking about security, uh, we can start seeing some passages like this. Shut it down. Can't shut it down. Override it. Not responding. Sir, so, How secure is your business? EDS, security, solved. Well, a fast search on the internet will lead you to uh, some uh, slides uh, uh, held during some presentation uh, of internal events of SCADA people when they talk also about security. And they uh, often say they are really worried because hackers are talking about SCADA topics because it is possible to find database of passwords on internet and there is also some tools, terrible tools, think that some legacy tools like Nessus started implementing a library specific for SCADA. We are fucked up. They are really, really worried. And they have some reason about yeah, uh, this. The funny things to us, and that's also why we decided the years to bring Attic in the Box uh, as CAD at all, is that as we are stating on my back, uh, the presentation that has been held at the DEF CON, Black Hat, and whatever, have been made by people that are into the SCADA market. They are not from the security market. They, they don't have an uh, background. They, they don't know our world. We know our world. And we think we have been able to study SCADA world so much that maybe we know some more of them. Well, when talking about problems, incidents, uh, usually there is not only one single cause uh, of that incident, but there are many um, uh, things combining, uh, uh, combining themselves to create uh, what is called an incident. Oh, this is a very, uh, I was going to say funny, but it's not funny. Uh, I think something is funny when it's like a movie, like War Games. That's funny. It's a movie. Uh, on the description I have on my shoulder, uh, three people died. Two 18 years old boys, uh, 10 years old boys, I'm sorry, kiddos, and one 18, 18 years old bo uh, boy. 
Of course, we don't have the time to go in the details of everything, and we are going, going, going to publish everything on the slides that, that you will be able to download from Hack in the Box website. But the key points are that it happened in 1999. We are talking about the Olympic Pipeline co Company that uh, actually is one of the biggest worldwide uh, pi pi uh, pipeline companies all around the world. Uh, the final result was that we, we are talking about $45 million the damage be, because of this incident. And uh, we are being so cool also to be able to bring you the geographical impact of the shit that happened. All this area has been fulfilled by the incident. Uh, we are talking about 1.5 miles. Uh, this yep. impressed me a lot because it's the first time where it's the first time is one of the few example where technologies really impact on our social life behavior and, la and lives I think, the, I think the green area on the right side is a public park where families usually go uh, to eat something to play and something else uh, so it was a really huge incident and terrible for that city so can you imagine you're doing a picnic on your, with, 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 with your girlfriend or your family, and you got this like a tsunami oil coming up over you? This sucks. Uh, let's go have a zoom, a quick zoom on the technical details. Uh, the two main servers man managing all the infrastructure reactor were, were, were two VIS, the best com computers were running VMS. I love VMS, and I can tell you that VMS is one of the most secure uh, OS all around the world. And there was also an, an alpha machine with uh, uh, Open VMS as a backup ma ma uh, machine and run it. Uh, in this uh, report that came, came from the Homeland Security Department, we are able to read at point five this sentence. If the supervisory control and data acquisition, so we're talking about the SCADA and the run had remained responsive of the Olympic controllers, probably the accident pipeline would have been able to initiate actions. That's what SCADA does. It realizes shit is happening and take a reaction. In this case, both the main server and the backup server fail it. That's why the shit happened. Well, in the SCADA world, we have some technical problem. For example, think all computers that is managing the SCADA infrastructure are uh, vulnerable to viruses, worms, and so on. But those systems need real-time performance to uh, understand and react to what is uh, happening on the network. And an antivirus could degrade performance uh, in such terrible way that uh, the system is no more able to monitor and to react. So you are vulnerable to virus, but you cannot install an antivirus on a SCADA machine. Results in uh, <laughs> a, consa a contractor, a consultant, arrived in, in this power plant, connected his own laptop, and uh, a worm that was uh, infecting his laptop started spreading on the network, completely uh, avoiding all the monitoring operation. Uh, it was a luck, nothing happens during that hours without monitoring. But in that moment, the uh, nuclear plant was without any control. Another critical problem, you know, is about, about patch. Uh, because in uh, IT world, uh, we know a patch could be faulty and think uh, a patch can uh, disable all the printer on, in your company. So it's terrible because no one is able to print invoices uh, and so on. Terrible, but think if uh, a computer that is managing a power plant stop responding because of a patch. Uh, so uh, all vendors have very long time to release patches uh, because they have to uh, pass them uh, through a lot of uh, controls. We are stating that it's a nightmare. Uh, come back to the original idea what was explained you at the beginning. SCADA came from a security to obscurity environment, and so we still have uh, uncommon standards that actually there, there are not a standard. So imagine how can how an AV, an antivirus, can impact on something that is not so known. 
it seems a very stupid issue, but, but it's not. 